against Carlos Monroe. And there you get a look at the 1996 Olympic gold medalist in the heavyweight division from the Ukraine. Klitschko is 20-0 with 18 knockouts. Against Najim Hashid, we see the power of Klitschko. He has lots of power. Despite his Ukrainian pedigree, it's boxers with stars and stripes that inspire him. From Holyfield, I like attitude. From Muhammad Ali, technique. From Tyson Power. I won't have this all. It's very different, and I won't have. Well, Klitschko, very inspired, Alan. Uh, 20 fights in his last 21 months. He's been busy. But he'll be going against a guy named Carlos Monroe, who at 11 and 6 has only been knocked out once in his professional career. And Monroe has grand designs of upsetting the Klitschko apple cart. He's an Olympic gold medalist. I, um, and apparently they expect him to, to do well and, and move on. So I, I'm here to interrupt that. So uh, I believe that will open some doors for him and let, him, let some people know that uh, I am a bona fide heavyweight also. You know, Carlos Monroe feels this is a very winnable fight. They fought once before. He was disqualified in the sixth round because of headbutts. But during that fight, Monroe was making some things happen, Bob. And he comes in here off a 12-round loss to Al Cole, former cruiserweight champion who is now fighting as a heavyweight. He can make something happen in this fight. Well, settle in your chair. Two good bouts for you over the next two hours here on ESPN's Championship Boxing. For the introductions, here's our ring announcer, Mark Biro. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Grand Casino of Royals in the great state of Louisiana for an evening of All-Star Championship Boxing on ESPN. Under the promotion of Top Rank Incorporated in association with Budweiser, this fight's for you. Tonight's bouts are under the auspices of the Louisiana State Boxing and Wrestling Commission. The chairman is Fielding Lewis. The Vice Chairman in attendance, Buddy and Bonanno Jr. Also, in association with the Tunica Valenci Tribe of Louisiana, the Tribal Chairman, also in attendance, Earl J. Barbary Sr. This is your first contest scheduled for 10 rounds in the heavyweight division. Your referee for this event from Folsom, Louisiana, the popular Paul Sida. In the red corner, wearing the white trunks with the purple trim, he weighs in at 259 and a half pounds, with a professional record of 11 victories, six defeats, seven wins coming by way of knockout. He boxes out of Los Angeles, California. Here is Carlos Mighty Monroe. Monroe. His opponent in the blue corner, wearing the Blue trunks with the yellow trim, weighing in at 235 pounds. He is undefeated in 20 professional contests with 18 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from the Ukraine, but boxes out of Hamburg, Germany, the 1996 Olympic gold medalist, Vladimir Klitschko. Let's take a look at the rules for tonight's first bout of the evening as Paul Sita gives the instructions. No three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee may stop the bout. If there's an accidental foul, they'll go to the scorecards after four rounds. Prior to that, it will be a technical draw. The ring, 21 feet by 21 feet inside the rope, so spacious enough for these heavyweights. And there's the bell to begin round number one as Vladimir Klitschko performs in the United States as a professional for the first time in his career. Of course, he won his Olympic gold medal in the Centennial Games in Atlanta. There you see the first round knockout percentage. In fact, Klitschko has 14 of his 18 knockouts within the first three rounds. Coming off a lengthy 26-day layoff. <laughs> Not often we see anybody fight only with a 26-day layoff. How about the stretch he had in 1997? He fought three times in 13 days. For the calendar year, he was 13-0 with 12 knockouts. And so often with young heavyweights, that's what happens. They, they box a lot earlier, and it helps them get better. I always wonder then why, especially in a heavyweight division, do they take such long layoffs when they get it to be contenders? 
Carlos Monroe knocked out only once in his career back in 1995 by Wayne Llewellyn in the second round. He's coming off a May 8th loss of this year to Al Cole in a 10-round bout. Let's go giving away 24 and a half pounds. Good combination from Klitschko. And a little height as well. Klitschko has good power. We've documented that. He has a pretty good jab, and there you see it against Carlos Monroe, right on cue. Klitschko has never been to the ninth and 10th rounds. He's only gone eight rounds once against Everett Bigfoot Martin earlier this year in Hamburg. He has wins over literally all the guys that were stalking horses in the heavyweight division six, seven years ago. James Pritchard, Jerry Wimpy Halstead, those are names some boxing fans remember anyway. Everett Bigfoot Martin. They are your basic trial horses. Klitschko showing his quick hands. If there's an Achilles heel so far that people have seen in Klitschko, they think it would be his defense. He tends to uh, leave his hands a little low, and they believe he's susceptible to get hit. He's 22 years of age. Born in PA. Good combination. He backed up Monroe. Big right hand hurt Carlos Monroe. So what he had a hard time doing in their first fight, Pisco looks like he might do in this one as Monroe holds on. He has hurt Carlos Monroe here early. Very good round one for Vladimir Pisco. Scheduled for 10 in the heavyweight division. Klitschko pounding Monroe on ESPN's championship boxing. Man, this gray hair makes me look old. Then do what I did. Get rid of it. You were gray? I never knew that. No one can tell you use the remarkable hair coloring called Just for Men. Simply shampoo in, then rinse. In only five minutes, this unique Just for Men formula blends away the gray actually matches your gray to your real color. Even I can't tell why it used to be gray. Thanks. Just for men. Looks so natural. Even friends can't tell. Dude, get down. It's my chair. Let's go. I'm not playing games. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> oh, dude. Hey, those dog obedience classes really paid off. Here's where Klitschko lands a left hook and a real good right hand that pushed Monroe back, and that set the tone for the rest of the round in which Vladimir just dominated. Round number two underway in the scheduled 10-round heavyweight bout. Vladimir Klitschko, 20-0 with 18 knockouts. Carlos Monroe, 11-6. Punch numbers in round one. And as you look at those, one of the, the most amazing things is that only two of 30 jabs landed for Monroe in that round. And Klitschko, of course, landing at the 40% rate. Not too bad. Klitschko using his jab. Monroe got a late start in the pro boxing game, turned professional in January of 1995. Rips off another right hand as Klitschko. Monroe, 33 years of age. And the thing that would be significant for Klitschko if he could get Monroe out of there is what we've said, that he isn't a guy that gets knocked out. He just went 12 with uh, Al Cole. He went 10 with Levi Billups. Went 10 the distance with Obed Sullivan. Uh... So he, he can go the distance with some of these guys. Not much offensively from Carlos Monroe. He had done a better job in their first fight of being aggressive. Here he is on the take. And boy, those left hooks getting there by Klitschko. That's amazing. We just saw one. He sort of pawed with his jab, and then they snapped that left hook. That would be a takedown. Boy, Al, Monroe is dipping his head. And he could get tagged. He's leaving himself really wide open. Boy, he's, uh, he's off balance as well. 
from the beginning of his bout, Carlos Monroe very tentative. Not with the same demeanor he had in their first bout, in which he made a pretty good go of it. Monroe is there for the left hook any time Klitschko feels like throwing that punch. And Klitschko himself is throwing it without any regard for defense, so you know Monroe isn't counterpunching much. Just looking to fire off a right over that left. But Monroe continues to dip his head right into the fray. Boy, he, Klitschko is not at all concerned. I mean, he's just throwing punches and Monroe doing nothing to even attempt to counter him. That's a warning for backhanding from Paul Sita. Clubbing left, Monroe blocked most of it. Final seconds of round number two, Vladimir Klitschko, the 1996 heavyweight gold medalist right, against Klitschko, Carlos step Monroe. Back, step back. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? Now, through Matrix Direct, a 35-year-old man could get a quarter of a million dollars term life coverage for less than $18 a month. Guaranteed for 10 years from a top insurer, Transamerica. A 42-year-old man could get $100,000 term life coverage for less than $14 a month. Call for a fast free quote over the phone. Matrix Direct, 1-800-575-8026. Want more channels, more movies, more great programming, and a great way to find it all? Get TCI Digital Cable. With our on-screen guide, it's easy to find out what's on and what's coming on. Browse other channels without leaving the one you're on, or just go right to your favorites. Even lock out what's not for your kids. With TCI Digital Cable, you don't just get more television, you get more out of it. Call to hook up. took available whenever he wants. Now that one, he didn't even throw that perfect, but it got there against Monroe. <laughs> round number three underway in the scheduled 10 round heavyweight bout. All right, break out of that From the That's Grand it. Casino. The Hoyles in Marksville, Louisiana. Take a look at some punch numbers through two rounds. Wow, I mean, a terrible, terrible start for Monroe, landing at 6%. He's, he could be on pace for uh, the worst record ever in a bout, which I believe was held by Ron Amundsen in a bout against Dana Rosenblatt uh, some years ago. He landed at, I think, something like 3 or 4 or 5%, if I'm not mistaken. We'll check with our experts at Punch Profile to find that out later. Logan Hobson and Soul Avilar on the keypads tonight. Whoever has Monroe, as far as counting the punches, can take it easy. So yeah, far. really. Although there, Monroe did throw in a right hand, mix something in. He's got to get something going offensively, or this will just be a total survival mode for him. Klitschko, of course, as you said, making his debut here um, here in the United States and probably being seen by the United States audience for the first time. He certainly was not seen at the Olympics. Nobody saw him win his gold medal, so they're seeing him for the first time. Combination from Klitschko. Come on, stop the top. Those fortunate enough to have a ticket in Atlanta at the Alexander Memorial Coliseum had a chance to see Klitschko. They saw Klitschko perform, yes. Good hook by Vladimir. Wow. Oh, good shot. Right to the head of Monroe. Klitschko's offensive tools are pretty good. Still throw some arm punches, but what they will have to work on is defense because Carlos Monroe's not taking advantage of any of that. Uh, he keeps that left hand low. Yeah, and he tends to lean his head in and some other things. But he's a 22-year-old. They're working on him. He's a work in progress. And he's gotten 20 wins along the way here. So obviously he's doing some things right. He has a ver very quick left hand. Yeah. I mean, really quick with that hook. It's not usually powerful, but it's very fast. And he can 
sort of just ease a jab out and then rip off a pretty good hook. Round number three coming to its conclusion. Scheduled for 10, Vladimir Klitschko so far dominating Carlos Monroe on ESPN's championship boxing. It began as the product of meticulous Japanese design, but it was sent to Europe for finishing school. It was tested on Austria's Alpine roads, refined on Germany's autobahns, and chased on England's racetracks. Now the car that's proven itself in Europe is crossing the pond. Introducing the all-new Infiniti G20. Born in Japan, educated in Europe, now available in America. If you had $40,000, would you pay off your bills, make home improvements, or keep some for emergencies? Well, at First Plus, you can get up to $40,000 or more with no equity required. And you can get pre-qualified right now. Here's how. Do you own your home? Do you have good credit? Do you want to pay off your bills and lower your monthly payments? If you said yes to all four questions, call First Plus now. Tell them you're pre-qualified to apply for the money you need. Call First Plus at 888-550-MORE. Well, the left took a staple of Klitschko's attack. Some land, some don't, and then some really get there. Yeah. Carlos Monroe bending into that hook and getting hit with it every time. Round number four underway in the scheduled 10-round heavyweight bout. Vladimir Klitschko has dominated Carlos Monroe. Let's take a look at some jab numbers through three rounds. Klitschko not exactly burning up the world with jabs, but Carlos Monroe, who has a decent jab, is doing really bad. I mean, that's the understatement of the decade. Really, really, really bad. That was kind of an Ed Sullivan. Right here, right, our show, a really right bad jab. Stop the punch. Well, those were the punch, the jab totals through three rounds. Well, Monroe, at least now here in round four, trying to be the aggressor. You would think a steady jab from Monroe would keep Klitschko at bay a little bit. <laughs> you would think so, wouldn't you? But it is not present. You know, and, and as you look at Monroe at 33, at a certain point when you're losing fights, you're going the distance, you start to really do get that mentality of you're just kind of in there to keep things going along and not to make extra things happen. And that's the way he's boxing this match. Obviously, I, my scorecard reflects that. I've got Klitschko ahead 30-27. And two of those rounds, you could make a case for making it a two-point round because he dominated. I break out of and I'm sure all the fans around the United States watching who have not seen Klitschko are really eyeballing him, scrutinizing him to say, okay, what, what does this guy bring to the dance as a future heavyweight? Can he move ahead? It's so difficult to tell when these guys are fighting the journeyman early in their career, Bob. You've done boxing so long and you've seen so much of this as well it's very hard to tell and right now it's target practice against carlos monroe but you have to take into account the fact that he turned 22 this past march so there are obviously a lot of things to work with yes and he's still young enough and even as he as he goes in against these journeymen And there have been so many young heavyweights who have not looked... Michael Grant's a perfect example. We have him on ESPN a, a couple years ago, and boy, he just didn't look very good. And almost overnight, he made a tremendous transition to becoming a really, really good fighter. Mm -hmm. And the next, very next time out, we could see big improvements. So. All right, step back clean. Step back, don't punch. the clock drips to the end of this fourth round and Vladimir Klitschko continues right, to control the action against Carlos Monroe scheduled for 10 in the heavyweight division when sports cream when legs are sore when backs ache when muscles hurt why sports cream rubbing it in brings fast pain relief no medicine is smell why sports cream because it works American League sluggers light it up on ESPN when Eric Davis and the O's soar into the Jake to take on the Tribe. Orioles Indians, Sunday Night Baseball, Sunday at 8 on ESPN. All I care about is baseball.
ESPN Sunday Night Football. Full season coverage begins September 6. 20-year-old Vladimir Klitschko, and you see some battle scars under his eye, Alan. It has a story to be told. In the last bout against uh, Carlos Monroe, Monroe was disqualified for repeated headbutts, and that scar is the remnant of that fight, and that's why Klitschko was so vehement when he talked to us yesterday about the fact that he wanted this fight. Round number five underway. Let's take a look at punch numbers in round four. Klitschko still winning, but not landing at the same clip he was earlier in Monroe. He's got to be uh, headed toward that record if he keeps this up. He's averaging about three punches landed around. The amazing thing is he threw seven more punches than Klitschko in that round, and he still had the anemic percentage. Neither of these men being that active. Lots of times in heavyweight fights, good hook by Klitschko. You'll see 30 or 40 punches around. Those are very wide punches by Klitschko. Sure can snap that left hook there. He's got a very good left hook. It's quick. And of course, Monroe's allowing him to paw with the left hook. Usually, if you're going to paw, it's with a jab. I mean, Monroe's letting him throw around. Look at that. You've got to be throwing a right hand over that if you're Carlos Monroe. He decides to take a left hook instead. Throw the, throw the jab or the open oh. right or take a hook. Well, yeah, when, when the guy's pawing with the left hook like that, you've you got to throw a right hand over it. There's just, um, look, look at the way that left hand is. You've got to, even a lead right, you've got to try it once in the fight. There, that was not well done, but at least he listened to me. All right, break, clean, clean. Carlos Step has a little IFB no in his ear, and he's hearing me now. On, go, See, right there, the right hand was just there for Monroe. And it's easy outside the ring, of course, to say it, but, I mean, he has got to try and throw that All right, punch. clean, clean. Step back, step back. Come on. Well, he must feel it. I mean, it's right there for him, but just not able to to get on track with it. And then when he does throw it, as in that, he's not really in the best position to throw the punch. He's just allowing Klitschko really to control this bout. And Klitschko, who so badly wanted a knockout in this bout, so far isn't getting one, even though Monroe's doing everything else to cooperate right, in that back, regard. Please. Stop the punching. Step back. He really has five rounds and 25 seconds to work with. Got a schedule for 10. All right, let him go and step back, please. No punching. The free Paul Cedar steps between the two boxers. Midway point of the fight. Klitschko continues his domination of Carlos Monroe, the Grand Casino on ESPN's Championship Boxing. This is Pete. He recently got a letter offering him a new credit card with a $3,000 limit and an interest rate of 18%, which is odd because Pete is a dog. Now, why would anybody offer a credit card to a dog? Well, who else is going to sit still for 18% interest? There is a smarter way to borrow. Call Countrywide at 800-942-0421 and find out about a home equity line of credit. The interest rate is lower than most credit cards and may be tax deductible, too. A Countrywide home equity line of credit lets you use the equity you've built up in your home to add a room, remodel your kitchen, or anything else. Now, Pete doesn't own his home, so he'll just have to stick with credit cards. If you've got equity in your home, don't carry a high balance on your credit cards. Call Countrywide at 800-942-0421. Countrywide. Easy. Really. We invite you to join us tomorrow night on the Deuce for the Men's World Basketball Championships. From Athens, Greece, John Saunders and Jack Ramsey bring you quarterfinal action at 5 p.m. Eastern as Rudy Tomjanovich's United States squad takes on Italy 5 p.m. tomorrow on the Deuce. That's a remarkable story, the way the U.S. men's team is playing over there. They are playing great team basketball and getting the job done. Sure have, and... Vladimir Klitschko has had tremendous success in world championships and, of course, the 1996 Olympic gold medalist in the heavyweight division. 20-0 as a professional, 18 knockouts. He begins round number six against Carlos Monroe. Neither man has been down. 
Klitschko has just dominated this bout from the start. You mentioned Klitschko's great amateur career. At 140 fights, he won 134 of them, 65 by knockout on his way to a, a gold medal in the Olympics. Don't forget our main event tonight. The IBA Super Cruiserweight Championship will be at stake as Orlin Norris defends his title against Nate Mr. Miller. Really looking forward to this fight. The, their first fight was some thought an aberration. Many, like myself, really thought that if Norris could keep making the cruiserweight limit, he would win forever in that division, but he just couldn't keep making it, and uh, Nate Miller scored the upset. He wants revenge tonight. Vladimir Klitschko wants revenge against Carlos Monroe. These two squared off in February of 1997. Klitschko a winner on a disqualification for excessive headbutting by Carlos Monroe. And no, at, least, at least in that fight, Monroe was trying something. Yes, he was. Now, now here, he's actually moving forward toward Klitschko, but just not throwing many punches. There's a right hand from Klitschko. Now, you mentioned that Klitschko has never been past the eight rounds. He had a win in eight over Everett Bigfoot Martin. So as we go on in these rounds... Um, We'll see how well Klitschko continues to throw punches and maybe monitor, oh, good right hand by Klitschko. Maybe monitor how many he keeps throwing. The problem is, is that Monroe has not pressured him at all. So Klitschko wanted to be worn down and Monroe is down. Straight right hand sends Carlos Monroe down and may make all that talk about 10 rounds academic. Paul Sheeta gets the count to nine and now he's stopping it. I think he caught kind of a thumb in the eye, but I also think that Carlos Monroe was probably ready to go. Vladimir Klitschko picks up his 21st win, his 19th knockout. The Olympic gold medalist in the heavyweight division continues his rise. He's just 22 years of age. The fans enjoying it, and he stops Carlos Monroe in round number six. Well, for Klitschko, it was what he wanted, to get a knockout. He showed some power here tonight. He showed a superb left hook. Ironically, it was the right hand that would end the fight after the left had been so important. Here, we will take a look at it. Now, Monroe grasped his eye like he had gotten a thumb. I think what really happened was, and so often happens, because these are gloves with their thumbs tied, it kind of slid right off the eye. Take a look at it. Yeah, that was a good straight punch by uh, Klitschko. And interestingly, a little while before that, Klitschko had landed a very good right just like it. And there you see Monroe crumbling in a kind of a delayed reaction. So Vladimir Klitschko takes care of business. He wins the rematch against Carlos Monroe, stopping him in round number six. For the official time of the stoppage, here's Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, two minutes, 28 seconds of the sixth round. The winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, Vladimir Klitschko. So, so the fans enjoy Klitschko's performance tonight here in Marksville, Louisiana, as he gets his 19th stoppage in his 21st professional bout. More boxing action for you after this timeout on ESPN. <laughs> 